What's up, y'all? I'm coming at you with a hot topic, and I got to tell you, this is one that gets me hot, as in angry hot. And I'm just going to level with you. What I want you to be left with is this message that is, don't steal other people's shit. Let me repeat it. Don't steal other people's shit. Why? Because it's not yours. Why is this an issue? Well, it's been coming up a lot lately with me and with other entrepreneurs where we have seen our work being taken by other people and purported to be their own. Not cool. So let's talk about why this happens because I think that most of the time it happens innocently enough. And frankly, I've probably done it before. So let's just go ahead and put that flag up. I may be guilty of this. So to anyone I've accidentally borrowed some stuff from, I'm sorry. And now I realize what the freaking problem is because it's happened to me. So anyway, it happens innocently enough, right? You're creating a new product or a new service for your business. And so you go out, like we all do, to do some research. You find yourself on Google, you're searching that thing and you come up with some really cool examples and you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. And then you find something you're like, oh, that's terrible. Don't want to do that. And we start to pull in a lot of this data. And we're looking at it and we're like, hmm, next thing you do is you sit down at your computer and you start to create that thing that you're trying to do. So maybe it's a newsletter, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's an article, maybe it's copy for the program you intend to offer, or copy for that product you intend to sell. And next thing you know, you're starting to write words that are not your own. And you're like, God, but they're so good though. Ugh. Like that person really knocked it out of the park and I really like what they said. So I don't mind if I do. I'm just going to borrow that little piece of this and borrow a little of this. And next thing you know, you have something assembled that is not your own. And listen, this just happened to me. I happened to be on Instagram and I found a post of someone who took something that was mine, that I created, that's called the Quad Daily Planner. Y'all have seen this. I'll put a link to it in the links below. It's a tool that I have honed over years of practice of learning what works for me and a tool that I have taught to clients for quite some time. Someone took that piece of work and literally copied it verbatim and put their logo on the top and then purported that it was their work. Not at all. It was mine, right? So here's one thing that you need to know. Material, when it is produced, has an inherent copyright in it. So whether or not you've written copyright at the bottom, that work belongs to someone else. So if you take it, you are potentially opening yourself up to liability, to a lawsuit, to someone approaching you and saying, hey, guess what? You don't have the right to use that shit because I created it and it's my own. So not only is that a really good reason not to steal other people's shit, but let me give you a few more things to think about. One, it's kind of lazy. If you're copying other people's stuff, you're not digging deep to get real creative and inventive around the thing that you are doing or creating for your business. And as entrepreneurs, that is one of the things that we have to be really good at. We've got to be able to invent and innovate and be creative. And I encourage you to dig deep to make that shit happen, right? So let me give you three tips to make sure that you don't accidentally rip off someone else's work and try to make it your own. One, when you are creating something new for your business, even if it's just simply sitting down to write an article, I want you to create the first draft without doing any research. So sit down behind your computer and type it out or take a blank piece of paper and write out what that thing looks like while your mind is fresh and is not in any way, shape or form influenced by others. First draft is always you unadulterated, okay? Step two. When you go to find research, know that that's all you're doing, is you're just looking to see what's out there. You're pulling down some examples, and you should seek to find lots of examples. So don't stop when you find one good one, because guess what's going to happen? You're going to copy all that shit. Find a bunch. Find a bunch of samples of some good ones. Find some that are not so good. Find something that's terrible so you know what you don't want to do. But get a plethora of examples, and know that that's your research phase. And when you're done with research phase, hit pause, take a break, step away. Now, step three, when you come back to really create this, to hone your messaging, to make sure that that 
new offering, that new product or service is clearly your own and is unique to you, what I want you to do is not sit with the materials that you've just researched right in front of you. I want you to remember the research you've done and use that to influence perhaps the changes that you'll make. But do not go and put pieces of paper side by side and start copying words over and pulling these things over. You've done the research phase. Trust that it's inside of you, that you've learned it, and that you know what you need to apply inside of this new version of what you've created, right? That's it. So, and last thing, if you are going to take something that happens to be verbatim from someone else, so let's say it's a quote out of a book that you really dig, give credit where credit is due. Because that's one of the biggest things we can do to honor the people who have created something that's really amazing is say like, hey yo, thanks so much for doing that. That's really cool. I love what you wrote. I love what you created. Let me share a link to your stuff. Because hey, guess what? Then I don't have to go make it on my own. How cool is that? Give credit where credit is due. All right? So, bottom line, don't steal other people's shit. It's not your own. It's lazy. It's stupid. And guess what? It hurts people's feelings. It hurt mine when I saw my work stolen. And I know that for other clients that I've worked with and other friends who've had their stuff taken, it feels pretty shitty. Don't do that to other people. Because we're a big ass tribe. We're a bunch of amazing boss ladies who are doing our thing and we don't have time for that. So, all right. That's our message for today. I hope you have an amazing day. Go out and kick some ass. I'll catch y'all next week. Bye, y'all.